So this is your wife? That is my wife. We had the most amazing time ever today. Meeting lots of people. I'm a cry baby. This is a legacy from my grandfather. I'm here just because of him. We came to a Saturday market and this market is filled with traditional South African food and a lot of crafts and a lot of people and this place is just bubbly. So let's explore. Sedgefield has a very alternative vibe. Even organic foods that are very hard to find anywhere else <laughs> It's very easy to find here and you have all the farmers selling their stuff, all the crafty people selling their jams and their juices and everything. So if we lived here, I would definitely come back to this market every single Saturday. I put in brown sugar and it's that brown sugar that still has the molasses in it. It's so good. So what do we have here? We have a pancake, but it's not just any ordinary pancake. This has cheese and biltong. So it's like air dried meat, but biltong is way better than jerky. You gotta try it. Costco sells some biltong. It's not as good though. This is very thin. It's like a crepe in, in America. We have a one with caramel sauce inside as well. Mm. Mm. Very good. Wow, look at these protea. So what is a protea? So protea is one of the best in of South Africa. It's one of the most famous flowers. Famous flowers here. And it's a very big one too. When they open up, they can become quite huge. And there are many different protea plants as well. Are... How many? You can be on video. How many varieties of, of protea are there? Oh, there's lots. There are lots. Of lots. Yeah. So there's, this is quite a few different. And you grow them at your nursery? Yes, yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, you got a farm, okay. Mm. Proteus Valley Nursery. Okay, is that the name of your place? Great, awesome. Can I have one for my birthday, Steve? When's your birthday? It's Doesn't not yet. <laughs> Just for saying what I said, the protea is the national flower of South Africa. Uh, an instrument and I started playing with them. That was like completely unexpected. I didn't know I would have such experience coming here to this market. Definitely being part of the marching band in school back, you know, high school really helped. <laughs> Thank you once again, guys. This was really, really Thank fun. You. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Baby. <laughs> oh, I'll try some of that. Mm, this is very good. So, what is I this? Norma Bilton. Okay, so. No, this is very tough. What, awesome. what is Bilton? For those who aren't from South Africa, you got to ex explain what Biltong is. It's just a pure dried meat. Yeah. And it's a lot better than beef jerky in the States. Beef jerky in the States is like sweet, sickly sweet. What is beef jerky? It's like this, but they put like sugar on and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> These guys here are from Heritage Farms who we've met before. We stayed at the Brondavo. Yes. And they're really cool. Uh, Christian farming community, is that what you describe yourselves? Yeah. And you have all the kind of natural foods and that that you sell. So if you're ever in the wilderness Sedgefield area, go to Heritage Farms and they've got a bakery. What else do you do? We've got a little deli going on there, coffee shop. Nice, nice. 
and some accommodation you rent out as well. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So do you do this? Yes, I do it. Wow, very cool. How long have you been doing it for? When I was 17 years old. Wow. Very impressive. Now I'm 38. So this is the legacy that I'm doing. From your grandfather? Yeah, from my grandfather. Why is man? I'm here just because of him. He made me divide. He told me to keep things different. My hero. Ah. You're a great artist. Oh, you are on Instagram. Great. Yeah, I'm on awesome. So you, you design in, in such a way where you leave part of the rock. Yeah, this is transformation. You know? So yeah, from this you can see the rough side. Yes. And then you come around here and look at that. Look at this. Natural. Look at that. Oh. Amazing. Joking. <laughs> That's amazing! Amazing! So when did you start this? Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago? Really? Amazing. That's the secretary That's bird, the only sure. bird I haven't seen yet here. Phenomenal. And just beside the scrap metal store, there is another store with beaded animals. It's very common here in South Africa to see little animals that were made using beads yeah, and wire. Beans. Amazing, yeah. It's, it's very creative. He also it's makes his sculptures with empty coffee pods. It's a way to recycle. Yeah. And recycle. people just give it to them. And people bring the empty coffee pods, like the Nespresso ones, to give to make his artwork. Amazing. <laughs> people here are so talented. This is insane when you think that all of this is wired. Dark. It is phenomenal. And this one is real. <laughs> hey, doggy, doggy. Oh, come on. You're going home? Yeah, I'm going home. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Enjoy. You play very well. Yeah, we're tasting some of the heritage farm built on. Our hands are very dirty, so we'll eat with a fork. <laughs> It's indescribably good. So the Heritage Farm uses their own natural homemade spices apparently. And it's very tasty. Look at these cute little meerkats. And then they burn the eyes to get the black. It's, it's actually burnt. It's very cool. Who did this? My brother. Your brother did this? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. He you carves know, it and yeah, burns he, the little he eyes. He carves it and then he, he put the details. Yeah. After putting the details, you burn. Do you have a website? So other people can find you here. Yeah, we are always here every yeah. Saturday. Okay, you here yeah. every Saturday. Yes, from eight o'clock yeah. mm -hmm. to two o'clock. At Sagefield Market. Sagefield Market. It's called yeah. Mosaic. Mosaic Village Outdoor Market. Great, great. Yeah, right awesome. Awesome. And yeah. you are right at the entrance here outside, right? Yeah. I'm on the first shop. You are the first shop. The first shop. You were the Great. first ones you, we saw as you, as we drove around. Yes. Yeah. And I like this way because I can get uh, customers from this side. Yeah. And the ones coming in. Yeah. The ones coming out from the world world. So you're, you're at the intersection of all the business. All huh? the business. <laughs> Very cool. And how long have you guys been doing this for? Uh, since 2007. Wow, so a quite a long time. Quite a long time. So, what other ones do you have? Uh, do you got? Oh, I you do, got very I rough do, ones. I do more on on, on the stone. Oh, wow! Can you so show beautiful. us some of the stoneware that you do? Yes. Awesome. Wow! Look at those giraffes. Amazing. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. This one is the mother and the baby. Wow. And, and the mother is. Comforting the kid. Yeah, the mother is comforting her, huh? embracing, then embracing more love. Wow. Yes. Mother and child creation. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So that is elephants. Eh? Yes, these are beautiful. Elephants. 
and these this is stone that is carved from and you do this yes it's called serpentine stone serpentine stone yes. i've got serpentine stone i have got uh, vedite what stone is this vedite vedite yes okay and uh, vedite is very rare that's yeah. why i've got vedite in only uh, uh, two pieces but yes. this one is deeper underground that's more greener okay yeah this one is on top on the surface because of the sun okay so the green one is is further down and more difficult to to carve it's more harder oh it's a harder stone yeah okay so to carve it's harder it's harder and okay the prices are also different and wow. then i've got the spring stone what is this spring stone yes it's wow. the spring stone what they want naturally it's great they, they are tired <laughs> yeah, they're it's like this Wow. Before you polish, yeah. and here when you polish, it become like this. And we only use um, shoe polish. Shoe polish you yeah. use to Kiwi polish shoe it. Polish. Yes. That's a great idea. But you have to eat it first. Yeah. So that uh, when you polish, the polish will sink inside the stone. Yeah. So you burn it so that it has a flame. Or yeah, not? it must be hot. It must be hot to polish. Liquid. Ah, uh, the, the stone itself. Oh, the stone must be hot. Yes. Okay. So that when you apply. Yeah. The shoe polish is sinking in. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. We call this one a leopard rock. Leopard rock. Yes. Phenomenal. This so that is, is spring stone. Yeah. Gorgeous. Phenomenal. So just, uh, just imagine this one you use a, a punch. A punch is like a, a pen. Yeah. You have to chip off yeah. all the unwanted parts here. Yeah. Wow. Leaving this part that you will be grinding afterwards Amazing. and how much do you usually charge for a piece like this uh this one i'm charging it six thousand six thousand rand wow. okay because the stone is coming very fast yeah, and it's yes. a lot of work it's a lot of work yes yeah and, uh, they are charging us customs to bring them in yes and this one is from zimbabwe oh it's from zimbabwe that stone yeah 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 yeah, yeah. awesome it's useful awesome. to know prices because we can put it on the video because a lot of people love coming to Africa and they love buying artwork from Africa. So if we can show your artwork, people yes. can see it and they know where yeah. to come. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, that's Thank you. Wow, these are very nice as well. Very rough. They are. Yeah. The world tells these ones we normally use roots. Roots. The roots. Oh, so these are roots. Yeah, we get them from the river. Okay. Because they don't want us to cut trees. Yeah, taking the trees. Mm -hmm. So we are going around looking for the root of the logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, my family and I used to watch movies about new pets. So my family liked baby new pets. Yeah, because we also watched that movie, Timo, Timon. Yeah, yeah Timon and yeah. Timba. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. So what does Hakuna Matata mean? <laughs> uh, Puna Matata means no trouble. Oh, no trouble. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> As you drive into the market, there are two parts to it. On the right hand side, you have wild oats, and on the left hand side, you have mosaic market. On the right hand side is where we ate. They have some crafts and organic, organic food. Organic foods and more foody type market. Yeah. Yes. Although on the left, they also have food, but it's a lot more crafts and clothes and a lot of African stuff that is really cool. Oh, wow. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Happy day. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> free watermelon. We got some free watermelon. Cool. <laughs> Do you want to buy it? So we have very African dresses here. The girls wear a lot of flimsy pants here in South Africa. I even got myself a pair. Oh, actually, this is not a pair of pants. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. It's a dress. It's a dress. So what do we have here? Ah, this is so good. <laughs> so this, this is here. from your bakery, the Heritage Bakery? Yes. Very cool. Guys, their bakery is really famous. We still have to go there. Mmm, very cool, very cool. We have a homemade cinnamon bun by the Heritage Farm Bakery. Mmm. That is good. Is good. Mm. I need more coffee with it. Brazilian flag. 
Yeah. How are I'm you? From Brazil. Yes. Brazil, yes. I've been to Brazil. You You've have? been to Brazil? Yeah. Really? Very, very amazing place. Yeah? I love Brazil. That's why I, I make this one for Brazil. Oh. No, in, in, in Brazil they say Asanato. Yes. Yeah, they work with for your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asanato. And that is what took me to Brazil. Yeah? Called ah. Asanato. Nice. Amazing. And how long did you spend there? Six months. Six months. I went all over. Me, I went to <laughs> Sao Paulo, yes. Curitiba. Yeah. Oh. I went to Londrino. Yeah. My aunt lives there. Londrino. I have a few uh, family members living there. Yeah. Maringa. Yes, I've been to Maringa as well. Yeah. Maringa is a really good place for artesanat. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. Yeah. Fortaleza. Fortaleza. From Fortaleza, I went to a small town. It's called Jerry Quaquara. Really small. Not many people go there. No, not a lot of people. Only tourists. Yes. It's a very tourist place. Yes. It's called Jerry Quaquara, and there is sand dunes. And every evening, people they climb on top of the sand dunes and they watch the sunset. And that was very interesting for me. Nice, yeah. nice. But I went many places. So this is your wife? One, that is my wife. I like the people are very Yeah. I remember we were traveling somewhere and this one family came and bought us lunchbox. Wow. Yes, and they gave us contact and they say you call us, nice. see you are safe and if you come back to Brazil, come to our place. Beautiful people. Yeah. Everywhere but we went, people. But the rumors, you know, before you go to Brazil, they tell you when you go to Brazil, you must put your backpack in front. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of crime, blah, blah, blah. When we went there, the people is so nice. It really does. Oh. Really? You feel nice. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we had the most amazing time ever at this market today. Meeting lots of people and yeah, hope you had a great time. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, like it and comment with your questions or your feedback below. If you ever come to South Africa, come by, support the businesses here. They are really great people. Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Africa and see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.